Welcome. I am Pastor Karen Frazier and I with Pastor Leah and Braun, our music director, welcome you to the worship of God at Fauntleroy Church on this Music Sunday. Well, not exactly at the church. You are probably sitting, maybe sitting in your kitchen and I'm sitting in my family room. That's the way it is these days. But I've been thinking, even though our church building is closed up, the vibrant ministry of Fauntleroy Church keeps flowing on. It flows on in the way we care for one another, the way we care for the most vulnerable in our community, in the way we, we have our communion, and the way we commit ourselves to extend a radical welcome of love. There's always been too much love in Fauntleroy Church to contain in a building. I think we've always known that. And we can't contain our music in a building either. That's why today we celebrate the way we all bring our notes to spirit song. Every time we are together, no matter how we are together as the body of Christ, in good times, in difficult times, in these chaotic times, but in all times with hope. So welcome. Welcome to Fauntleroy Church, United Church of Christ on this special Music Sunday, full of songs and praising God. I am so glad you are here. Let me call us to worship. Oh, Fauntleroy Church, let us sing to the Lord a new song. At, at the creation of the world, the morning stars sang, and they say the trees clap their hands. As God delivered God's people from the bondage of Egypt, Moses and Miriam sang a song of salvation. And as she anticipated the birth of God's son, Mary sang her rebellious lullaby right to the powers that be. Come, Fauntleroy Church and friends, let's add our songs to these. Let's add our voice. Let's add ukuleles and guitars and trombones and saxophones and banjos. Let's add our hands. Let's add our feet. Let's add our hearts. Come, Fauntleroy Church and friends. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the whole world a new song of love and justice and of peace. Come, let us worship God.
Let us all lift up our voices in song together. Please join us for House of Love. Reverend Leah Atkinson Belinsky, and I have the honor of bringing you the scripture reading for today. It comes from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 through 7. Now, when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See now, I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go, and do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day. But I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, why have you not built me a house of cedar? <laughs> I love that reading. I love the way in which God knocks King David back a bit. <laughs> King David had built this glorious house for himself and, and, and turned uh, uh, to look at the Ark of the Covenant and, and, and thought to himself, oh, I've got to build a glorious house for God too. You know, how often it is that we, we have thought in, in the history of, of being followers of God that we needed to build a glorious house for God, that we needed to contain the presence of God within four walls. But God makes it clear God's presence will not be contained. The Spirit blows where it wills, 
The Spirit of God is always on the move. The holy is meant to be on the move in the world. I think this is a great time for us to remember that. We just sang about a house of love and, and, and how wonderful it is to enter into a house of love. And I know we all miss that. I know we miss being at Font Laurie Church. But there's so many other ways that we can enter into a house of love. There's so many other ways that we can enter into God's house of love in this world. All it takes is seeking to follow that presence of God and to sing a new song together in this new and different time and this different world that feels upside down. It really does need a new song to be sung. Our next songs that you'll hear from, uh, from our wonderful choir and those beyond our choir and from our music director, Bronwyn Edwards, uh, invite you to open up to the presence of God in new ways. So I invite you to, to think about how you might do that as you listen to them. But before we get to the songs, will you pray with me? God of grace and God of glory, on your people, pour out your power. As your church's story continues to unwind in this world, we ask your blessing upon our chapters, including this one, as we grow and learn in it. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour and the living of these days. Bend our pride and rid us of selfishness save us from weak resignation to the evils we deplore that we might live ever more fully into your spirit that longs for our bud to be brought to glorious flower amen
Now we are called to a grand, bold new notion. If Earth feels so quickly, can we fix what's broken? Lean into the healing, live into the new ocean. There is room, there is room, there is room. There is room There is There is Room is one of my favorite creations of Betsy and Bronze. I really thank them for that song. In particular, I love the lyric in it, the invitation to lean into the silence. I think that's an important invitation for us. And I think it's come at, a, at, at just the right time for we needed to lean into the silence, into our own silence, so that we could better hear the cries of the oppressed in this world so that we could better hear and come to know in a new way that indeed we are not just facing one pandemic, we are facing two. We're fan facing a pandemic of racism. The next songs that, uh, that, that the choir and, and others will sing um, are ones that invite us into a place of action, into a place of doing justice in this world as God has called us to do. I pray that they touch your heart. And I pray that you're able to lean into your silence to better hear the call of God and the cries of the oppressed. One, two, three, four. Go down, Moses. Go down, go down, Moses. Moses. 
This has been a wonderful Sunday, and we still have a few more songs to go, but I wanted to pause for just a few minutes in order to take in this uncontainable rejoicing, but also to remind you that worship continues today at 1130 as we gather together for our annual meeting. You'll, you'll find the link for that in our highlights. This year, we really, more than ever, will need to talk about what does our ministry look like, both outside and inside the church when we regather again. Your voice and vote are essential to that discernment. I also wanted you to know that since we moved Music Sunday and had to move our annual meeting, we moved our Pride celebration also. We haven't forgotten it. So look for Pride in July, especially at our worship on July 26th. And then a reminder that also in July, we'll be talking about systemic racism and we'll be using the book so you wanna talk about race as our guide. That'll be on Wednesday nights in July at 6.30. And we'll do that on Zoom and all are welcome. And then a reminder that if you would like to give to the church today, it's so easy to do that on our website. You just go to the right upper right-hand corner and you'll see a Give button. But I'll also let you know that you can find in that menu too ways to contact us if you also want to give some time and some talent to some of these ministries of our church, including the choir. I think that's it. Let's sing a little bit more. But this time, let's start with you, Fauntleroy Church. Braun would love us to join in the singing the song, Simple Gifts. And we'll end this worship on some songs of hope.
Music Sunday has become a tradition here at Fauntleroy Church. We celebrate and we thank those extraordinary people who give their time and their talents to make music happen right here at Fauntleroy Church. In addition to all of these people, I'd like to thank our music leaders. These are the people who step up and help support me whenever I need help. And I'd like to thank especially David for conducting, Sarah for leading choir, and Elizabeth for leading the children's bell choir. So today on Music Sunday 2020, on behalf of everyone in Fauntleroy Church, thank you to all the wonderful people who've made music happen for us over the last year. Thank you to all who contributed their talents. You are all dearly loved and your talents are deeply valued. Listening when you're feeling down. God's listening when you're feeling down. When you can't come up with anything to make you smile, and the sun's not been out for you in quite a while. God's listening. God's watching you when you're feeling blue. When you're feeling blue When the homeless people on the street don't have any shoes And you search in vain for hope on the evening news God's watching you God's thanking you When you're doing good God's thanking you When you're doing good Helping those without a voice And you walk your talk and help the earth And then rejoice God's thanking you And so, as you go out from this place I hope you have all been uplifted and inspired by the messages of love, healing, hope and justice shared today. Keep your bright light shining, Fauntleroy Church. May your lives be woven into the fabric of this community. May you feel to the core of your being the melodies and harmonies and warm chords of this unique and extraordinary gathering of loving and caring people. Go in peace. Amen. Shine.
Shine.